Hey, how's it going, everyone? How are you guys doing tonight? Today, where are you from? This beautiful world. Um, so, I'm going to review a homebrew of mine. It is the uh, I Am the Walrus. Uh, it's a Northern English Brown Ale that I did about a couple weeks back. Um, and I went ahead and uh, kegged it about a week ago and I uh, used some gelatin to clean it up. I forgot to put some Irish moss in there during the hot side, but um, so gelatin seemed to do a little bit of good for it. So um, it's got a nice uh, carbonation level and I wanna kinda get that review over with uh, for sure and show you guys what it looks like, what it tastes like, aromas, all that good stuff. Um, so this was a seven and a half gallon batch. 4.7 was what I wanted, I got a 5%. I let it go a little longer. Uh, y yeast uh, worked a little differently than uh, Omega. I had to uh, go a little longer. Um, I had to wait a little longer for it to hit um, to hit the uh, ABV that I or the, the final gravity that I was wanting. Uh, twenty five IBUs uh, still worked great though. Great yeast. Uh, for uh, twenty five IBUs and fifteen SRM. So kind of um, like a. An amber looking kind of darker amber color uh, it's supposed to actually look a little lighter to be honest but uh, I had to I had to add some roasted uh, or excuse me some special roast malts uh, because I didn't buy enough caramel 40 I had caramel 20 and caramel 40 yeah and I didn't buy no I didn't have enough far caramel 40 so I had to improvise <laughs> keeping the SRM about five SRM a little over but that's all right um, so it came out a little darker, but let's go ahead and pour it up. Um, I had a 5%, so 1050, 1.050 original gravity, and uh, a final gravity of, um, uh, what was it? <laughs> well, I don't know. It was uh, something, but it made 5%. <laughs> it was a 1012. It was a 1012, so if I'm wrong, sorry, but I think it said 5%. But anyway, no no doubt uh, a, a, an easy goer and, a, and an easy drinker and uh, very nice. And uh, we'll find that out right now. So cheers. Nice. Let's get, I like to put a little sanitizer in there to kind of keep it clean. All right, so as you can see, it's got, you can see through it. It's it's a lighter, a little darker than what the color wanted. I think the ro the special roast kind of added a little more uh, color, and I think I might have added a little too much Carafa three. I think it was Carafa three that I added for my yeah Carafa three, um, but only 0.9 percent, so it didn't add much color. I did add um, Victory Malt chocolate malt of 3.1 percent, Victory Malt 4.7 percent. Maris Otter, eighty-seven point eight percent, and um, forty and twenty. But I had uh, the special roast, and um, then I had East Kent Goldings and Fuggles, and then I used the London Ale Three Y East. So that's that. In the light you can kind of see it's still kind of hazing up. There you go. There's a little more light. Kind of just trying to find a nice little pocket of light to push through it. Or we could do this. You can see a little haze still, right? It's not really a chill haze. It's actually like a grain haze or something. It, uh, I should have added some Irish moss to it. I forgot. Um, that kind of helps collect all the proteins and stuff but um, to help with the uh, haze but or the clarity. So next time I'll remember that. But I did add some uh, gelatin which is a nice fining agent that helps take away a lot of that. So uh, pour about a finger head down to about a half a finger. Checking my door, make sure it wasn't wide open. It's um, definitely a uh, amber color, a deep red 
um, almost burgundy amber. Um, yeah, very definitely on that kind of burgundy amber or like Northwest IPA kind of territory and color. Um, definitely a brown ale though. Uh, deep, deep, rich kind of uh, lighter red brown ale. Um, on the nose, it has a really nice uh, off kind of a tan, light tan head, very creamy head. On the nose, you're getting a nice uh, breadiness, slight caramel, a little toffee. Some roasty character as well, very light. Light, um, uh, yeah, kind of a tangy um, tartness as well. Like almost a fruity, kind of a fruity thing, is what I'm trying to say. Caramel is, uh, it's not, it's not, it's there, it's there. But it's acceptable too for the style, so it should be there. A little bit of toffee is okay as well. Roasty character, definitely. Uh, toast, kind of a toasty, um, um, biscuity toast. The Marisider toast, victory as well. Like caramel, the chocolate, the carafa, bringing through maybe a, it doesn't really bring through much. It didn't have much in there. It was just color. Cool, let's taste it. Cheers. Mouthfeel is soft. Um, slightly, slightly carbonated, but very, pretty soft for the most part. Pretty subdued. But it's carbonated, you get the fizz. And it's, uh, I think, in my opinion, kind of carbonated the way it should be. Um, it's, um, a, a, it's a soft, it's, it's kind of like a, a light body, more of a medium light body. Um, the, uh, there's a bitterness in the finish. Almost like a, a dryish, like wet uh, mouthfeel. Uh, loose, wet, dry in the finish more or less, more wet in the front. Easy to drink, quaffable, drinkable. You can have this year round. Um, I was shooting for kind of a Newcastle-y vibe, the old one that is. And um, it's, it's, it's there but it tastes kind of like more like the new one. So. Um, there, there's a lot more roasted character in this, and it could be from the um, special roast, um, which also adds a little more caramel as well to it. So I don't know. It was all I had. So next time I'll figure. I'll try and buy the right things. <laughs> but it does have that slight little pinchy feel of Newcastle. There is like a slight like. And then it has that roasty character and bitterness. Uh, hops, 25 IBUs. It's not super bitter. I think some of the roast characters coming through with it, adding a little acridity to it. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it, I mean, but it's not terribly, it's not off-putting at all. Like, it's super quenchable, super drinkable. Tastes just like what BJCP says it should taste like. So, I'm, I'm and aromas, everything. I'm like, I can't go. I just was looking for that Newcastle, the old Newcastle, and it just wasn't in there. It's not here, but there's pinches of it. You're like, oh, okay, what do I gotta do to tweak this? But leaving great lacing, it's malty, it's bready, it's like a, almost like a brown bread crust with a nice sweet brown bread center in the, in, in the middle of it all. It's got that sweet kind of doughiness. Um, it, it tastes really uh, um, almost like a, a slight citrus as well. Uh, a little earthiness. Caramel's there, but it's kind of subdued. It's such a light beer that it, it's, it, it makes it so drinkable. Everything is drinkable. It's got a nice dry finish, and I like that dry finish. I like drinking this a lot. I kind of hope that I have some left in the next week so I can... See how if it'll get clear, cleaner, but uh, 
it's really good. It's a really nice uh, social drink or like a pub pub drink. So, cheers, you guys. Yeah, I I I just say it's uh it's it's pretty damn good. So right on. I'll have to see what I can do to tweak it to be more like Newcastle, but maybe we'll just do another one. <laughs> All right, you guys have a good night, day wherever you're from in this beautiful world. But now I have to do one more sip. I love beer. Hell yeah, I love homebrew. Hell yeah, cheers. All right.